Hi guys, so let's talk about the four undertones. So I'm using my own color analysis system called Artistic License, and if you are interested in getting a color consult with me, then you can check out the link down below. That will bring you to my website. So let's talk about the four main undertones. What I realized that we're missing in color analysis is these muted undertones, these delicate undertones. So usually we see that there are warm undertones and cool undertones, but for the warm undertone, there's also a warm and muted undertone, and for a cool undertone, there's also a cool and delicate undertone. So going from warmest to coolest, from left to right, we have warm and radiant, we have warm and delicate next, and then as we get to a point where there is a lot less yellow in the skin, now we start to see a cooler undertone, cool and delicate, and then when there's a lot more blue, then we finally see cool and bright undertones. So the next thing I want to note is that it's really the hue of the skin that matters. It's the color itself of the skin and not so much about how light or dark it is. So you can see that in the box on the top, all of those people with those skin colors will be flattered by the same colors because they have the same color skin. It's just either lighter or darker. And in the same way in the bottom box, those people would have the same color skin as each other and they would be flattered by the same colors, but their skin is just lighter or darker. So let's get into some celebrity examples, but I do want to say if you guys have any questions about why I chose the undertone that I did for each celebrity, leave them down below, and I'm not going to go into each celebrity in depth because then this video would be 10 hours long, and also remember that my main focus here is the skin and the color of the skin and the undertone of the skin, not so much the features or the eye color or the hair color or anything like that. So let's get started with our celebrity examples. Okay, so warm and radiant, these ladies have a very clear yellow undertone to their skin. There is no doubt that they have a ton of yellow in their skin. So our first example is Oprah Winfrey. Oprah looks amazing in these warm, bright, clear colors, and you can see that these colors don't even look that bright on her because her undertone is so bright that when she wears them, she actually looks just normal or great or awesome, but not like she's wearing a super, super bright color. For example, she's wearing that orange dress and the bright salmon dress, those two middle dresses, and they don't necessarily look overly bright on her. They look just right. Our next example is Hayden Panettiere. Hayden is also a warm and bright undertone. Her skin clearly has a lot of yellow in it, and that yellow is very pronounced. So that is the, the signature of the warm undertone, and she looks amazing in tomato red, a bright warm green, and obviously yellow. So that looks really great on her. Let's also note that Hayden and Oprah share their best colors. So Hayden's skin is lighter, Oprah's skin is deeper, but it's still the same hue. Remember how I talked about at the beginning of the video? This is still the same basic color of the skin, and it's that color of the skin itself that matters, and not so much how light or dark it is, or the color of your hair, or the color of your eyes. It's all about the undertone, all about the features, and both of these ladies look absolutely amazing in yellow here. Next up we have Eva Longoria. She is also warm and bright, warm and radiant, and you can really see how warm her skin is. And again, these colors don't even look extremely bright on her. If someone with a muted undertone were to put on these colors, then they would appear very, very overpowered by these kinds of colors. So we have on the left, she's wearing a tomato red and she looks awesome, and of course a warm green and an orange. And you can see that when she puts on a cool muted color, like on the left, she's really dragged down there. I mean, she looks like she's kind of frowning there, but she's actually not frowning there. In that dress and if you compare her facial expression on the far left to her facial expression on the far right they're really quite similar and i think she looks amazing there on the far right and i also want to note how she looks in the middle so that is a warm color dress that she's wearing in the middle but you can see that that color is very muted it's almost like that dress ran away from her when you look at that image the first thing you see is just Eva's arms and like the dress sort of ran away from her, right? That is another signature of a radiant undertone is that these muted colors, these subdued colors really run away from you and your undertone really stands out against those colors just like Eva's does there in the middle and on 
the right. I think she looks really, really amazing and that dress does not look too bright on her at all. We're looking at Eva as a whole and I think she looks really, really amazing there. So let's take a look at our three warm and radiant ladies and I think that you can see that they have some differences in their coloring but they do have one thing in common and it's that their skin color, the color itself, it's lighter, it's darker, whatever, but the color itself is the same or it's very similar. It has a lot of warmth to it and they are all flattered by the same colors because they all have the same undertone. So let's try to describe this undertone. So they appear to be very golden. Their skin has a definite yellow tint to it. It definitely has a lot of yellow. They seem very bright, beaming. They seem very radiant and almost sparkling and those are some key words to think about when you think of warm and radiant undertones. And just as their undertone is warm and radiant, they also look amazing in these warm and radiant colors, the warm and bright colors. So these are their best colors and Eva Longoria, Oprah Winfrey, and Hayden Panettiere are all going to share these as their best colors and they are orange, yellow, tomato red, lime green, these very warm bright colors. So next up we have warm and delicate. So these people also have quite a bit of warmth in their skin, quite a bit of yellow, but they don't have as much yellow dominance in their skin as the warm and radiant people do. So that yellow, when we look at it, it looks a little bit mixed with the other colors, so it looks a little bit softened. So these ladies have more of a soft warm glow to them rather than this beaming radiant warm glow. So here is Aishwarya Ray. She is a great example of a warm and delicate undertone. She looks wonderful in these soft muted colors that are warm. So they have more yellow than blue and if you want to learn more about what I consider to be warm and cool colors, you can take a look at my video on that and I will link it down below. So she looks really great and very softly glowy in gold, in the muted peach, and in brown. Next up we have Kate Blanchett. So Kate Blanchett also, her skin itself is slightly warm. Of course, it's not as warm as Hayden Panettiere's skin, but it still has a little bit more yellow in it than it does blue. And I think she looks amazing in this brown dress on the left. She also looks great in this muted green dress in the middle, the warm muted green, and of course, peach. She looks amazing in peach and that is a warm muted color as well. Some people will say, well, Kate Blanchett, you know, she's cool. She has blue eyes, so she must be cool. And I want to show you these three images and you can see on the left, Bianca Balti is a cool and delicate undertone and she's wearing that placid or a dark placid blue, a muted blue color, and she looks really wonderful there. And if you compare Bianca's skin color to Kate's skin color, you can see that Kate's skin is just a tiny bit more yellow. Now remember, these are muted undertones. These are delicate undertones, so they aren't going to look as different as someone with a cool and radiant undertone versus a warm and radiant undertone, but there is still a subtle difference and it makes a difference in the best colors for these ladies. And I think that Kate looks a lot more harmonious in the image on the right in the warm muted green dress than she does with the blue muted dress in the middle. So Kate is warm and delicate in my opinion. On the right, I think she looks the best and the most harmonious. And I think that this is what happens unfortunately when we disregard or neglect the undertone and focus or over focus on the eye color and the hair color and, and other random features. It's not that hair color and eye color completely don't matter, but I think that undertone is by far the most important factor in determining someone's best colors. So Kate Blanchett is warm and delicate. Next up we have Beyonce. Beyonce is also warm and delicate. She looks amazing in these muted gold colors, muted peaches, very warm colors. She has a soft warm glow about her and she also looks great in terracotta like they're on the right. And you can see how when she puts on, you know, some people say Beyonce, she's bright, right? She's, she's a bright undertone. But when you see 
and compare how she looks wearing this tomato red dress versus how Oprah looks wearing a tomato red dress, you can really see the difference, or I hope you see what I see. When you look away and look at the picture of Beyonce, you see the dress before you see Beyonce. And when you look away and you look at the picture of Oprah, you see Oprah as a whole. And remember, their skin colors are about the same depth and their hair colors in these two images are also pretty similar. So it's not anything like that. It's really the undertone itself. So Beyonce is overpowered by this warm, bright, radiant red color and Oprah looks just right in it and she looks wonderful. So Beyonce is warm and delicate. So next up we have Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu is also warm and delicate, but you can see that she also has really dark hair. So I really like it when she incorporates some dark items, some black items or a darker color into her look as well, like on the left, but her look still is primarily a warm and muted color, just like on the left there. And I really love those two looks in the middle and on the right as well. I think her skin looks really good glowy and wonderful there. And now we have Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel is warm and she is also delicate. She has a soft warm glow about her and she looks amazing in these warm olive greens, a muted yellow and beiges and golds and things like that, just like all warm and delicate ladies look good in those colors. She also looks good in those colors. Remember, these ladies basically have the same skin color except lighter or darker. And I hope that it becomes more clear here. So when you take a look at Kate Blanchett, you can see that if Kate's skin got a little bit darker but the same color, then it would basically be like Lucy Lou's skin. And then if Lucy Lou's skin got a little bit darker, it would basically be like Jessica's skin. And then finally, when Jessica's skin, so I think Jessica and Aishwarya have a pretty similar skin depth, so I'm not sure which one is darker, which one's lighter, but if either of those skin colors got a little bit darker, then they would be Beyonce's skin color. So these ladies all have the same basic skin color, just lighter and darker. So they are all flattered by the same colors. They all have a warm and delicate undertone, so you can think of some keywords being softly golden, maybe copper, glowy, and very delicate, very soft, and, and glowy. And their best colors are all these muted warm colors, so we're talking about peaches, creams, some olive, warm olive greens. All of these colors look amazing on warm and delicate undertones, and they can be quite overpowered by brighter, warmer colors. So these are some of the best colors for warm and delicate undertones. Now we have cool and radiant. So these ladies are the coolest undertones that there are. Just like warm and radiant are the warmest undertones, these ladies are the coolest undertones. They have a lot of blue in their skin. So we have Fan Bingbing here and she looks amazing in royal blue, magenta, and pure black because her skin undertone is very cool and very radiant and so she looks amazing in cool and radiant colors. I will say all of these cool and radiant ladies, I did a more in-depth color analysis on them in my ethnicity and color analysis video, so if you guys are interested, I will link it down below. Next up, we have Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, same story. Her colors, her best colors are still the same as Fan Bingbing's best colors, and they are cool and radiant colors. We're talking about purple, royal blue, magenta, and she looks really amazing there in those colors. Next up, we have Katie Holmes. Katie Holmes is also cool and radiant. She has a cool and radiant undertone, and she looks amazing in magenta. She's not overpowered by it. She looks amazing in royal blue. She's not overpowered by it, and in that fuchsia pink as well in the middle, so she is cool and radiant. I know some color analysts classified her differently, so if you guys want me to do a video on Katie explaining why I chose the undertone that I did, then you can leave a comment down below. Next we have Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman is also cool and radiant, so she looks amazing in these royal blues, 
pure black and notice that black dress even though she is so light skinned you know it doesn't look harsh on her and of course that uh, purple dress on the right it's a very pure color although it is uh, quite light it's still a pure color so it's still a radiant color it's a clear chroma color and if you are interested in checking out more information on nicole and how she can incorporate her lighter features and her low contrast look with her brighter color palette then you can watch my video titled low contrast looks for bright seasons so now we have Nazanin Boniadi. So she is also cool and radiant. So she looks amazing in these cool and bright colors. Same story, magenta. Optic white is another cool and bright color, as well as, of course, royal blue. So she shares her best colors with Nicole, with Alicia Keys, and with Fan Bingbing. And it doesn't really matter that her skin is a little bit darker or a little bit lighter than some of those other ladies. It is still the same basic color. So you can see these five ladies here and you can see that they definitely have a similar coloring to them. So especially when you take a look at Nazanin on the right there and compare her to Alicia Keys, you can notice or I hope you can see what I see that if Nazanin's skin got just a little bit darker, then it would be like Alicia Keys' skin. That's the same color except it's just a little bit lighter that's it so cool and radiant undertones so you can think of some keywords being optic white light beaming sparkling and radiant and they look amazing in these cool and bright and radiant colors these clear chroma colors magenta royal blue deep purple and a cool bright green all look amazing and lighter versions or darker versions of those colors as well they also look good in pure black and optic white next up we have cool and delicate so these ladies have still more blue in their skin than yellow but that blue is not as much there's not as much blue in their skin as the cool and radiant ladies so that blue color is picked up by the eye as being mixed with some other colors so that blue undertone is softened and it appears to be quite delicate and quite muted so of course Bianca Balti is our first example here. She looks amazing in these muted blue colors and she looks very glowy, very softly delicate type of a coloring. And it's the same story for Leah Kebedi. Leah Kebedi looks amazing in these cool muted colors. We're talking about grays, we're talking about ash pink. These are all colors that look amazing on her and you can see her delicate cool type of a glow coming through especially in the gray and in the ash pink there as well but it's not really fair to call these cool and delicate ladies uh, dusty or ashy or um, gray or anything like that because when they wear their right colors they are more glowy and soft rather than ashy and gray and you can see Bianca on the left looking quite glowy and amazing in that muted blue dress. And in the middle when she puts on this really bright magenta color, you can see that her skin does look a little bit gray or a little bit ashy or something like that. But that's only because she's not wearing her right color, not because her skin color is inherently ashy. And you can see that when Katie Holmes, who has a very similar coloring in terms of her features and her skin depth, when Katie Holmes puts on a magenta dress, then she does not look ashy or gray or anything like that. She just looks just right. And that's because Katie Holmes is a cool and radiant undertone, so she can handle that cool and radiant color, but Bianca is a cool and delicate undertone, so against that color, her skin does look a little bit gray, a little bit overpowered. The same can be said for Leah. So Leah does look a little bit more gray against that very bright purple clear chroma color. But as soon as Leah puts on something a little bit more delicate, a little bit more uh, muted, then you can really see her soft glow shine through and she looks amazing there on the left. 
So next up we have Alexis Bledel. So I have an entire video talking about Alexis Bledel and Zoe Deschanel and how their coloring is different. It's titled Comparing to Clear Winters, quote unquote. So if you guys want to check that out, you, I will leave a link down below, but you can see that Alexis is so flattered by these cool and delicate, cool and muted colors. We're talking about grays, placid blues, and she just looks amazing and her skin has this delicate glow to it. It's the same for Lisa Bonet. So Lisa Bonet, unfortunately, I could not find that many images of her wearing cool colors, but you can still see the color of her skin itself and just how cool it is. And it's it has this slight silver sort of touch to it. And that is a signature of this cool and delicate undertone. And in that picture in the middle there, uh, I would really love it if that fur was maybe gray or silver rather than that cream color. And next up we have Jennifer Aniston. So Jennifer Aniston is obviously very much talked about in color analysis. Everyone wants to color analyze Jennifer Aniston. So if you guys want me to do a full video on her, I will do that and explain why I chose the undertone that I did. But I think that she is most likely cool and delicate as well. She looks amazing in these cool and muted colors and her soft glow really shines through. Now we have Kim Kardashian. It's the same story. So she also looks amazing in these cool and delicate colors. The charcoal gray there on the left, the light gray in the middle, and the the uh, cool muted green on the right I think all look amazing on her and she also has this soft delicate glow about her when she puts on these kinds of colors. So she will be flattered by the same colors that Leah Kibedi will be flattered by, that Alexis Bledel will be flattered by, that Jennifer Aniston will be flattered by, and when we compare their skin colors next to each other, we can see that their skin colors have some differences in depth, but they are still the same basic color. So you can imagine, especially if Jennifer Aniston's skin got a little bit darker than it would eventually reach uh, Kim Kardashian's skin and if Jennifer's skin got a lot darker then it would probably reach the exact color of Leah's skin. So that is the same color that they have, just lighter and darker versions of the same skin color. So some key words for the cool and delicate undertone are silver, porcelain, glowy, delicate. So these are all this muted blue undertone. All of these ladies look amazing in placid blue, uh, ash pink, a muted cool burgundy color, charcoal gray, muted cool greens, and some darker muted navy blues as well. So in summary, the radiant undertones are the ones that have either a clear blue dominance, so a lot of blue, or a clear yellow dominance, so a lot of yellow. And so the eye will pull this undertone as being a clear yellow or a clear blue undertone. But when there is let's say a yellow dominance but not so much yellow that the eye pulls it as this clear yellow undertone it will be pulled by the eye as more of this muted yellow type of undertone so that is the warm and delicate undertone and the same can be said for the cool and delicate undertone so it still has a blue dominance but that blue is not enough to be read by the eye as a cool and bright blue. So that blue, because there's not enough of it, it is still, there's still more blue, but it's mixed in with the other colors. So it appears to be more muted. So for the undertones we have from coolest to warmest, we have cool and radiant, and then it transitions into cool and delicate. And then there is this theoretical neutral which doesn't exist in real life because nothing is perfect and you either have a tiny bit more warm or a tiny bit more cool in your skin so I don't believe in a neutral undertone but you can approach a neutral undertone and you can be cool and delicate or you could be warm and delicate so those are closer to the neutral undertone and then finally you could be warm and bright as well so you have a clear yellow undertone. 
and just like this diagram goes from the coolest undertone to the warmest undertone, let's now take a look at some celebrities that have a similar skin depth and take a look at them from coolest to warmest. So you can see that Nazanin has the coolest undertone on the left, and then when you get a little tiny bit warmer, but still cool, you have Kim Kardashian, and a little bit tiny bit warmer, you now have Aishwarya Ray. So now she crossed the neutral line between Kim Kardashian and Aishwarya is this theoretical neutral, right? So Aishwarya is now a little bit to the warm side, so she's warm and delicate. And finally, we have Eva Longoria, who has even more yellow in her skin, so she is warm and bright or warm and radiant. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, leave a comment down below. This video is super long. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, any video requests. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.